hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to enable javascript in adobe acrobat let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe acrobat i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Enabling JavaScript in Adobe Acrobat is a simple process that can be beneficial for many tasks, especially when working with interactive or dynamic PDF files. Now, there are two versions of Adobe Acrobat. One is using the web version right now, like I'm using. But essentially, you don't have the option to enable JavaScript here because basically it's a web-based. All right. What I want you to do is switch to the Adobe Acrobat application on your computer, which is going to be this one. Because from here, you can basically access the JavaScript when you go to the upper left corner, click on the menu. There is an option here that says preferences or press control plus K to your computer or command plus K if you're using Mac. Click on it and there should be an option that says JavaScript. All you're going to do is click this option enable acrobat javascript enable menu items with a javascript execution privileges enable global object security policy and of course javascript debugger click on show console on editors and messages and all i have to do is click on ok because for one javascript enables dynamic functionality such as calculations conditional logic or real-time updates in pdf forms for example it automatically calculates totals in an invoice from when user inputs values all right javascript can automate repetitive tasks like you know pre-filling forms with the user data auto populating date fields adding or hiding form fields based on user input and of course it allows you for data validation ensuring that form fields are filled correctly before submission now javascript can display alerts or messages to guide users for example notifying users if required fields are left blank so there are a lot of purposes when you enable javascript here in adobe acrobat they can interact external data sources or systems allowing you to send form submissions via email or to a server but the thing is if you are encountering problems enabling your javascript here in your adobe acrobat the next thing that you need to do is simply to contact the Adobe customer support. These are the channels that you can reach them, right? And one of the customer support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix the problem if you're encountering any issues enabling JavaScript in your Adobe Acrobat. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.